So the big question in anybody's life, if you've escaped your past, could you even attempt to go home again? And that question is looked at in, in one of the best Canadian movies of 2018. Now, Rabbit came out in recent months uh, on Super Channel Fuse, independent release. It's a uh, co-creation of uh, the uh, director, Jesse James Miller, and one of his uh, key stars, Derek Hamilton. They co-wrote the movie, and uh, it's already won the best uh, Canadian film at the Edmonton Film Festival. Continues to draw award recognition. Uh, might be a big contender in the BC uh, Movie Awards very soon. Now, the movie, uh, conceptually, is mostly uh, Derek's uh, feelings about the old bugaboo, can you really go back to what made you or force you to not become that? In the movie Rabbit, uh, in an unnamed part of the country, uh, Hamilton plays uh, Michael Kelly. Um, he's a clean-cut guy, a family man living in a city, and all of a sudden his life completely changes when he receives a letter calling him back home to find his beloved missing brother. Um, as the film plays out, he has to go back and confront and reignite loves, hates, and secrets of the past. And the movie is like a tapestry of family drama that a lot of people who have grown up in, I don't know, rural Canada, especially the Maritimes, BC, you know, that old rural bugaboo, can you really escape what really almost destroyed you in the first place? When Rabbit goes back, he basically meets back up with his father, who's the one that sends him the letter saying that, you know, your brother's missing. You need to track him down. Now, as his long journey between his different parts of his past, it's a family web of, of people he can trust and, and not trust, family by blood and family by friendship. And as the movie goes on, he falls deeper and deeper into no pun the rabbit hole and as the uh, the music score cinematography Derek and uh, James Miller's script really expands there's so many great scenes in here the supporting cast is tremendous the development of the rabbit character he gives enough to the, the viewer Derek gives enough to the viewer to basically say listen I'm taking you on a path of discovery whether you're liking it or not, we have to go on a walk together. And this is unique. When Michael, Michael Derek's character, Michael, goes from place to place, there's no no cars. He's walking. It's a path of, not say fear, but a path of, of destruction that he's leaving behind or trying to discover. Now, uh, Hamilton's performance in here, uh, Derek has been mostly a character actor through the years. This is his legacy project. He's been working on the, the script and the concept uh, for Rabbit for many, many years. Uh, and uh, the supporting cast, like I said, Nicholas Campbell who plays his father. Nicholas Campbell, known for being one of the best actors in Canadian history, everything from The Dead Zone to Da Vinci City Hall, which actually uh, Derek was a co-star with uh, Nicholas Campbell in that. Um, but two, two main uh, characters really stand out. Besides, of course, the lead, uh, Gabriel Miller, who is uh, best known for comedic performances in Corner Gas, plays a, a hometown uh, uh, prostitute who basically opens up more of the intrigue than even uh, the rabbit character even expects. And see, this is a family project as well because uh, Derek's wife, who plays uh, a key character in the movie, and his two sons also play uh, supporting roles. Now, I must warn you before you see this movie, it's intensely honest. If you've ever come and come out of rural Canada and survived it and were forced to go back for a funeral or a get-together or uh, a revival of what happened before, that's on one level. But this movie is on so many levels of, of that path. We really don't know where the movie's going to go. There's a lot of twists and turns especially uh, with some of the younger members of the cast and some of the uh, older actors that according to some this could have been their last production the actors in, in question when they uh, joined the cast so there's a lot of great performances here I do not think that you should 
bypass this movie because it's an independent. This is a movie that has a quality beyond the budget. Uh, it's a it's low six figures. This movie, but it, it looks like a multi million dollar movie. And Hamilton's performance from second one to the last denouement will stand with you for the rest of your life. It's that chilling. It's a remarkable movie, especially for a first time. Uh, what do you call a co-writer? Uh, Jesse James Miller is known for his family dramas, uh, but in this case, the whole cast and crew, especially uh, Derek, uh, have done something that's never been done in Canadian history. They've told the great story of how rural Canada is not that sunshine and roses thing, going home again like a My American Cousin or you know those Canadian movies. This is a movie of of all kind of emotions, and you will watch this and it will stay with you forever. And I've been watching movies for 47 years, been an entertainment reporter for 37. I have never seen a movie like this. And I'm not saying this because it's a Canadian production. I mean, I don't think there's any other group of uh, Canadian creators could could have done Rabbit. This was a mo this is a movie of its time. This is a movie that needs to be seen and should be taught in film schools how to put cinematography, music, and interpretation of the script into play. It's a quality, I give it 8.9 stars out of 10. That's the old perfect score sometimes IMDb uh, DB, uh, gives. My only negative is that, again, none of people have seen this movie yet. It's something to see. Put it on your watch list, Super Channel, uh, maybe DVD, other streaming services. And let me tell you, I feel good for the Canadian movie industry after seeing this because knowing such a movie can be created by some of the best talents in the BC uh, movie and TV industry, well done. Again, Rabbit, one to watch, and if you've never, never watched a Canadian movie, and there might be some international uh, listeners, please put this on your watch list. You will not be disappointed. Have a good one. Keep your stick in the ice. Bye.